get that in there. There we go. So we've got the end off without any damage. We can still test it with this if we uh, still lights up. Look at that. Right, so this little bit here is where it's sealed off when the air is drawn out. And I'm deliberately going to break that now so we can see the air go rushing in. So these are my special pliers which I get on here. Once I break this you'll hear it. You ready? So what happened there? The air went rushing in so violently it pulled that phosphor off the edge of the glass. So we know it was a vacuum because it pulled in rather than blew out. How much argon or buffer gas do you actually reckon is in there? Any idea? Well, I think we need to find out. So I think what we should do is break this little nipple under water and then we'll see how far the water gets pulled up the tube and that will tell us how much of a vacuum it really was. I'm now going to add some dye to this water just so we can see it going up that tube. don't need too much, just need a little bit of dye there. Obviously not too much gas in there. Almost a total vacuum. Right, let's rotate this a little bit. Get it under there. There we go. That's pulling that up nicely. Doing well. Eight foot tube. That weren't bad, was it? Look at that. So, that was all what was left. That's gone all the way up there, top to bottom. It's only about an inch from the top.